We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ben from Door Prime Toys. So, I'm in my living room right now because I'm about to start on a huge um, Lego build that I got in the mail yesterday. And this is it. So, this is the uh, Lego Haunted House. This is set number 10-10273. has 3,231 pieces. So, yes, this is going to take me uh, a good while to do. It'll probably take me... Um, most of today, today is Saturday and tomorrow to get done. Uh, before I start building, I just want to show you the back of the box. So here is the uh, mansion. Um, open up and all the little um, different features um, would be a haunted house. This is supposed to be an amusement park um, themed haunted house. And there's a look at the mini figures on top of the box. So here is the um, instruction manual here for the haunted house. See, there's a, it's gonna it's gonna take a while to get all this done. So, all right, it is Sunday. So, so this took. So I am done with the haunted house, as you can see. And it, it took a while. It took me probably I would say maybe twelve to thirteen hours total. Um, I started building yesterday. Um, and probably started September afternoon. Uh, probably around, around like two o'clock and. And did it for about ten, for about nine hours, and uh, finished it um, earlier today. And, uh, fun build. Uh, it was a super fun build and a very uh, complicated build too. It's a lot of technique pieces, a lot of different um, techniques I've never seen done before in on the Lego build. The front of the house. So. I thought uh, Lego did a really nice job with the uh, front part of the house. Um, you got your entrance way right here. You got this upstairs and um, ramp combo right here, which I thought was a nice addition since there is a um, uh, wheeled handicapped person um, included. Um, this guy right here. So um, I've never seen that done before um, on the Lego building. I have the only time I've seen a ramp used is with um, one of the buses that came out a couple years ago. So I've never seen that done with a Lego building. So uh, uh, nice job with uh, Lego Group um, uh, come out with that. And on the left hand side, you got a cemetery. So right now, I am going to open up the house. So this does open up. So you just take about your front pieces and it inside you see there is the um ride in the um ride inside the haunted house this is a um drop tower and i'll go through that in a little bit right here you have a um, ticket booth and right here and above it getting this nice little um i guess uh halloween piece or I don't know, it's like a little scary um, decoration. Um, on the right hand side, there's your entrance way again. You got this uh, chandelier above and some um, lights up here. And right above the uh, entrance way, you have this um, hanging skeleton here. And then behind him, you have this little table with this with a couple of I guess, skull skeleton skull candles. And this little um, cup, um, little cup here on chalice, and I guess this is supposed to be like a lantern or something. Moving to the right, to the left, uh, this is above the ticket booth. You got this um, little box of stuff here. I'm not sure. This is supposed to be, I guess, some pants or legs or something. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to, it's supposed to represent, but. Uh, so you got lots of stuff, and I'm not sure this is supposed to be. You got the little um, skull inside this um, glass case. Right here's some more um, decoration pieces. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Right here, going to the bottom on the left, you got this nice pipe organ, which was one of my favorite bills out of the um, whole um, set. Uh, Lego did a great job with this pipe organ. Um, 
I've only built, this is probably my second piano I've built, but uh, this is probably the most um, complex, but yet um, interesting builds I've done. And right above um, the pipe organ, you also have these two um, two p um, decoration pieces out here. I think that's best to represent um, sphinxes, because this is kind of a, like a uh, your Egyptian themed attraction. Right above um, the uh, pipe organ, you have this picture here, and this is supposed to represent. I want to look like the guy from um, from Monster Fighters. Um, that's who I'm thinking. Maybe I can't think of his name, but um, there is a um, another uh, picture hidden beside behind this picture, and it's attached to a light brick. And when you um, activate the light brick, uh, the picture lights up, as you can see. I don't know if you can see pretty good on here. I don't think it's turning out well, but the light up um, picture is a um, of a sphinx. Sphinx. And to activate activate that light brick, you just go back to the front of the um, of the house here, and the sign right here. Oh, sorry about that. Got a sign right up here. Um, it says Manor Von Baron, which is supposed to be the name of the um, high house. You just push the um, sign, and um, the the uh, light brick will come on. Let's see. Right now, I'll go through the uh, ride of the high house. It's supposed to be some sort of drop tower, like a like I said before, this is sort some kind of Egyptian theme. As you can see, you got this like a built um, Egyptian Finx, uh face right here. Thought that was a um, pretty nice little build right there. So another one of my favorite builds out of this um, set. And right down here, you got the um, little, um, I guess, the little, uh, little uh, rod here. Just be just like a little car that just goes up the tower. So um, I'm gonna put a, so I'm gonna try to demonstrate that ride to you. I'll put a couple of the mini figures that came with the ride, and I'll go through those mini figures at the end of the uh, towards the end of the video. I'm not sure. There's a better way to put me figures on the car inside the little on car here. Instead of just going through here, so just some um, just sticking in the car here. So to operate the ride um, on the back of the um, Holy House, you have this um, this um, chain link. With all these um, wheels and gears, it represents supposed to represent gears for the ride, all the mechanics of the ride. Uh, this was probably one of the most aggravating things to put together, especially the chain link here, because it was it kept falling apart every time I tried to um, put it, put it through the um, gears. I had to do it a few times, uh, probably several times to get it right. But anyway, so the chain link goes all the way up the, t the back of the tower, through that gear on the th down the other side. And so on the chain link, let's see if I can. You got this little piece right here, which captures the car when, when the chain when you. The chain link um, goes around through the other side of the building. Um, this little piece will um, um, grab onto the car, and that's how it, the car gets pulled up through the tower. Um, since um, this is a drop tower ride, and or, in order to um, operate the chain link, you have this little crank right over here. 
Let's see. Okay, so I will start up the crank and uh, and try to get the ride running. So um, bear with me. So <laughs> trying to hold my camera while up in one hand, trying to upright the crank in the other hand on the back of the <laughs> building. So it could be uh, it could be a little di difficult to. Alright, so you can see the um, so the um, car is starting to um, go up some. Right. It's not doing much. There it goes. Now, I put a couple extra of uh, the chain link pieces on the um, chain link. Uh, so, so it will fit all the way around the gear. So I don't know if, if I got if that's why it's taking so long for the car to come up. Or if it's, I, I just don't got the chain link on right on the gears. Right. Oh, there it goes. As you can see through that window on top of the um, uh, the Sphinx there. See, there they are. See, going through the windows. And it's about to hit go up to the top. And you can see those doors opening up. And there ah! <laughs> Jay's fell down. Uh. I'll, I'll go through it again. This is a dick going up. Cause that, that, there's a bottom of the car right there. Let's see if I can do, do it better this time. Uh, it looks like it's running better this time. They are. Ah! <laughs> there it goes. <sighs> so, yeah, so that's pretty much the ride right there. So, um, at least a little part of the, um, the car comes down, or the, um, the little elevator that the car's in comes down, so you can easily lift, lift it down with your finger. And that's the only way I know to get the um, the little elevator back down. So here are the nine mini figures that I included with the set. So I'll go through um, each one really quickly. So starting at the right, you have this guy in the wheelchair. Has this um, tan sweater. I. I I don't think I have seen before. Down the maybe on down. You have this um another um girl with um this um jersey torso I never seen before either. This is brand new. I think this might be exclusive to the set. And here's another um customer here. Another customer here. Um, he, this guy has a new, new torso print with a shirt and jacket combo. I think that might be exclusive to this set also. Not sure. And there's another customer with the, another rider of the group. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, 
And these two guys right here are the uh, ride operators. Um, both of them are pretty much the same figure except for the uh, face. Um, the head torso. One has um, glasses. I think it's this guy on the left right here has glasses. And the other one does not. Let's see. So yeah, the one, this is the guy on the left, has glasses. And the... No, oh, both of them have, <laughs> both of them do have glasses. I'm sorry, I thought, I thought one of them did not have glasses. All right, so both of them are basically the same figure. Oh, I could be brothers for all I know, I, I don't know. Be twin brothers, but both of them um, operate the uh, ride. One, um, I guess, um, runs the ticket booth, and the other one uh, greets all the riders, um, which are all these guys at the front of the um, traction. They got these two guys here who uh, just, I guess, they're just uh, scared, I guess, when they come out of the traction or when they come in. That's it for this unboxing of the Lego Haunted House. Um, I am so happy I finally <laughs> was able to get this. So I ordered this back in May. I think the first day it came out. And it was on back or after I ordered it on Lego.com until July. Something like mid-July. I can't remember that date. And um, it actually showed up for me this past Wednesday. Um... June was when was Wednesday, June June twenty fifth, June twenty fifth. So I was happy, I was shocked, and <laughs> happy at the same time. I was finally getting it. So it, it was a fun bill, well worth the money. It's two hundred fifty dollars. Um, thirty two hundred thirty one pieces. Um, so I th I think the price is. Wow, fits uh, fits the um, piece count really well. Um, very very much worth the money you get to get. Um, if you have not got the Lego um, High House yet, uh, keep checking Lego.com. I don't know if they have any stock yet or not. I haven't looked uh, since I ordered this back in um, May. But uh, keep checking the website um, and uh, go ahead and order if you want it. It may be on back stock, but um, just go ahead and place your order. And uh, you eventually will get it. So that is it for this um, unboxing of the Lego Haunted House. Um, so I ordered this back in May. The uh, first day came out. And it was immediately on back order after I ordered it. Um, I was not supposed to get this till like mid-July. But it, it checked out for me um, this past Wednesday. Um, which was like June 25th. So I am very happy that I finally <laughs> got this very early. So if you are have yet to get this and want and looking to get it, um, please keep checking Lego.com. I, I don't know if they have any stock right now, but uh, just keep checking the website, um, and uh, you uh, you will eventually get it. Um, I know the North American pl Lego plant over in Mexico has um, opened um, this month. So they are starting to um, get things back to normal, starting to get sets out. Um, I know a lot of people have seen shortages in um, in their um, retail stores, in their Walmarts and their Targets. I have as well, and even my Lego store that has only been um, open back up for a month. But um, yeah, yeah, everything's starting to get back to normal, slowly but surely. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And uh, I'll, sh I'll try to get more stuff on the channel. Uh, I don't do much Lego. I do quite a lot of Lego, so I'll try to get some more Lego videos out. I mostly do a lot of bigger video figures um, for Transformers, and Star Wars, and other figures on here. <laughs> but uh, I'll try to get some more Lego stuff up, up on here. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.